As proposed during the fourth technical meeting on Friday, owing to the late arrival of some countries, the main draws and technical meeting was held on Saturday morning, which marked the day one of the tournament. The president of the CV23, Paul Archu, presided over the meeting, where the CV23 supervisor, Ika Ben Nepta, took to the floor to make the final draws and features, which reflected eight matches to be played in both men and women categories among the host Ghana, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, and Cote d'Ivoire. The hostilities began at the Laboma Beach Resort, Accra, Ghana, with four matches each played in the both categories. In the women category, Team Nigeria 1 beat Team Bene 2 2 0 at 21 3 and 21 17 in the first match of the day one, while Team Nigeria 2 made up of the current winners of the just concluded Beach Challengers in Cameroon also beat Team Bene 1 2 0 at 21 17 and 21 16 to place Nigeria at a comfortable position. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate the Nigeria team. Uh, yes, if uh, I reply for uh, your question, we lost because we don't have more experience than Nigeria. The third match of the day was between Team Ghana 1 and Team Nigeria 2. Though tough and interesting, the more experienced Team Nigeria won the match by 2-0 at 21 12 and 21 19. The last match of the day witnessed the qualification of Nigeria to the next round of the Olympic Games qualifiers as Team Ghana 2 bowed to the superior powers of Team Nigeria 1 by 2 0 at 21 17 and 21 11. See that we are ranked third in Africa and I don't see no reason why we should come here and get anything below the first position that we have gotten today. We didn't lose a single side to the, to, to the both countries. It's just for Nigeria to start from this uh, stage and start preparing for the second phase. And we say the second phase, you saw it here. You saw the natural terrain. That is the solution to Tokyo 2020. Great Nigeria! Nigeria! In the men's category, the first match between Team Togo 1 and Team Cote d'Ivoire 2 produced 2-0 at 21-15 and 21-16 in favor of Togo. Team Togo 2 locked arms with Team Cote d'Ivoire 1 in the second match of the day. At the end, Togo also won by 2-0 at 21-9 and 21-9. Team Ghana 1 and Togo 2 featured in the third match of the day with the display of beach volleyball skills, but Ghanaians showed a superiority in the game over Togo by winning the match 2-0 uh, 21 14 and 21 19. Same was the story in the last mess match of the day as Team Ghana 2 players threw thunderous spikes and skis over power Team Togo 1, beating them 2 0 at uh, 21 16 and 21 13. Yeah, for the men, I would say we are on, our, on, we are on the way to qualify. And so far, we've played one match and we've won. The ladies, the ladies just lost their match against Nigeria. But hopefully tomorrow we have to meet Benny. And so Benny will determine whether we've qualified for or not. So the CAVB technical supervisor, Iba Ben Nepta, assessed and evaluated the day one matches this way. Uh, I want to say something. The level of men and women are very good. And for women, Nigeria today, after winning too much, make a qualification. For men, Ghana is in the road, missing one match, and also he will make a qualification. For the, the other second position, we must wait the match of tomorrow. Hostilities continue on the day two of the Olympic qualifiers at the same venue, La Boma Beach Resort. Accra, Ghana. In Accra, Ghana. Kendi Lamidi reporting for CAVB.